We almost another day in the Twisted Knot Woodshop. Several people have inquired about how I took the drill pest table and turned it into an automated up and downy thing. Uh, I have always have an auxiliary table on the drill press and for those of you that don't have one uh, they're handy but the main problem is you got the clamp on one side and you loosen the clamp and then you work over here to the other side if it's a standard drill press and you have the crank handle over here to raise the table up and down and it gets to be quite a problem especially with an all, uh, auxiliary table so I just went to the dump my uh, my shopping mall I call it and I found a DC motor on a piece of equipment um, that some kind of a machine and I liberated it along with the control board which is in this box here I made and it has the switch for adjusting the speed and you don't use it for feeding you just use it to orient the table and the height that you want um, it's you still you know feed the bit with your your uh, hand wheel there and all I did was just take I took had to take the whole drill press apart uh, down to the bare column in order to get gain access to the locking mechanism down here and I drilled and tapped the aluminum plate there into the collar that's there replaced the crank with a gear um, the uh, gear is, I think is two three times bigger than the little one up here and so that the motor up here is not working so awful hard and I got it wired so that it goes up in through the uh, head of the drill press where the wire uh, coming from the motor goes into the box and then it automatically gets the power from up here so I don't have to have an extra plug in. So you just position the table and I've got it set up for speeds. You got fast, slow, and then of course normal over here which is where it normally sits. And then if I just put the switch, um, flip it down, it goes down and then I uh, up, obviously up, and then I went a little kinky and put a little light there so that it was just something to do. Well, that's uh, that's it. And as far as the clamp and the motor, it so worked out that the motor's diameter was the same size as two muffler clamps, three inches in this case. And I just got the muffler clamps, <laughs> clamps from the um, local garage and bolted it to the plate. And there you are. That's how it works. And oh, it took quite a, it's not quite a lot of time. It's just a lot of effort because you got to take this whole thing apart. But uh, it sure does make it nice, and if you ever decide you want to do one, well, there's your idea, and have at it. Take care.